This amazing brew deck behind me did not happen overnight. It's the product of much blood, sweat, and tears, and there are many things along the way that I wish I had known starting out. In this video, we're gonna talk quickly about a few of those things. Uh, the first thing is, it's the process that's the most important. Don't focus too much on recipe. The best brewers can make a great beer out of a mediocre recipe, and the worst brewers can make a terrible beer out of a great recipe. So when you're thinking about your next brew day, whether you're a professional or a home brewer or someone starting out, think about your process. Think about your mash temperature. Think about your pHs throughout the process. Think about your fermentation temperatures. Think about which yeast you're using. Think about your cell counts and think about when and how you dry hop. And then last but not least, think about how you packaging. Guys, the point is your process is significantly more important than your recipe. I wish I had known that starting out and I would have gotten much further along than I was in those early days. The second thing is guys, the oldest saying in the book is that you are what you eat. And in brewing, your beers are what you brew with. You have to focus intently on your raw materials. When you pick up that two row from the homebrew store, when was it kilned? When was it malted? Is it old? Does it taste stale? Those wonderful citra hops that are so hard to get your hands on sometime, how do they smell? When were they packaged? When were they pelletized? Which region were they grown in? Long story short, your beer is what you brew with. So do not skimp on trying to find and source the best raw materials possible. And when you're not able to get them, try harder because it's definitely one of the most important things that makes your beer better. You can't brew great beer without great ingredients. And you know, I said a great brewer can make a great beer out of a mediocre recipe. Well, a great brewer cannot make great beer without great ingredients. This third one, guys, is a lesson that I was very fortunate to learn very, very early on. Don't try to be like everyone else. You will never brew a beer that's unique and you will never develop your own texture and flavor profile. So again, if you are a commercial brewer or if you are a home brewer, it's certainly fun to brew clone recipes when you're starting out. And it's certainly fun to try to figure out how other people do things. But the most important thing is that you do things your own way and that you develop a process and a technique and an outcome that is unique to you. Especially in this day and age when brewing knowledge is very ubiquitous, the internet, you can certainly punch into ChatGPT, brew me a hazy IPA, and I bet you whatever recipe comes out is pretty good. And to, to maintain that humanity, that originality, and something unique to offer the world, you have to focus on yourself and your own process and chase your own flavor profile, I promise you it is the only way to find a unique product that will compel people in this market that is so saturated. That life lesson is true for everything. It's true for writing, it's true for brewing, it's true for videography, uh, you name it, don't try to be like anybody else. So that's a real quick one for you guys today. Behind me is a recently renovated brew deck it has me feeling a great sense of pride for what we've accomplished here at Treehouse, and it makes me want to share some of the knowledge gained that we've developed along the way. If you are not a subscriber to the channel, it is a huge help to us. Just click the button down below and it will guarantee that you'll see the deluge of future content that we're planning for this upcoming year. I want to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.